My name is Tom Watson, and I am proud to represent the city of Bath in the Maine State House of Representatives. The legislators here with me today, and some 90 others, have drafted and signed an open letter to our congressional delegation that states our concern with the recent escalation in Iraq. I was raised in a military family, and as growing up, my father, who was an Air Force officer, uh, was often away far more than he was around. My daughter was an infant when I left for my first tour in Vietnam. When I finally came back home to stay, uh, she was walking and talking. I had missed a great deal of her life. Today, this escalation means that the brave women and men of Maine who serve in our Guard and our Reserves are facing their second and often their third deployment to the Middle East. These men and women and their families have done their part. It is time to stop. As legislators, we are struggling to balance the state budget and maintain a decent standard of living for all Maine residents. The billions of tax dollars being spent on this war every week has drastically affected our ability to provide heating assistance to our needy neighbors and health care to our children and our elderly. It is time to stop. The letter we have drafted encourages our congressional delegation to take a stand for the people of Maine and oppose further escalation of this war. Our letter has nothing to do with bravery or cowardice. It has nothing to do with patriotism or protest. Our letter has to do with the families of our servicemen and women and our state economy. Our letter is a way of saying it is time to stop. Standing with me, I'd like to introduce Representative Walter Wheeler, who is a World War II veteran. He served in both the European and Pacific theaters, and he served in a vessel off Normandy at Omaha Beach. During the war, Representative Wheeler spent more than two years at sea. He serves now as a life member of the VFW, uh, and he greets soldiers returning from overseas at Pease Air Force Base. Representative Wheeler. My name is Walt Wheeler, and I represent Kittery, District 151. <clears throat> and I'm in the same boat as Tom. My father was in World War I. He was in the Navy, and I was in the Navy in World War II. And uh, I think our boys have been over there long enough, and I don't think we're going to settle it. And I think that we should bring them home, and we shouldn't send any more back. The men and women have served our country over there, and I think they've been there too long now. And I think they should come home, and we should not deploy anymore. And I do greet the troops at uh, Pease Air Force Base, and uh, they, they're coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan, and there's some of them going over to Iraq and Afghanistan. And they appreciate us being there very much. And I support our troops. I'm not against our troops. But I think they should come home. I think they've been over there long enough. And we don't need any more uh, boys getting shot and killed. So let's bring them home. Thank you. Thank you Next, I'd like to introduce Senator P Peter Bowman, who served in the Navy from 1960 till 1990, achieving the rank of captain. During his time at sea, he served both on the surface and underwater. His last assignment was commander of the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. Uh, Captain Bowman has received various service medals in the course of his career, including Legion of Merit, Navy Commendation Medal, and two Meritorious Service Medals. He is also a life member of the VFW. Senator Bowen. Thanks, Tom, and good afternoon. I'm Peter Bowman. I'm in the State Senate District 1 from Kittery. One of my favorite sayings is that given the choice of doing something, no matter how small it is, or nothing, you always go for the something. And so it is with this letter. This letter is a symbol of our resolve. <coughs> Although I strongly supported the U.S. 
invasion and, and involvement in Afghanistan, I firmly believe that our country was led into the Iraq campaign based on false information and that the current situation is untenable. That said, the country has selected the right commanding general to lead our forces in Iraq, General David Petraeus. You may or may not know that General Petraeus wrote the Bible or the text on counterinsurgency and he has battlefield experience in Iraq. I also strongly believe that General Petraeus, even though he has come out publicly in support of what is called the surge, is dedicated to sufficiently training and equipping the Iraqis so that we can bring our troops home in an orderly, thoughtful, and safe manner. And in that endeavor, I wish him Godspeed. I'm also proud that the main state Senate, followed by the House, went on record against the war in Iraq in 2003, in large part thanks to the efforts of my colleague, Senator Ethan Strimling. We were right then, and we were right, we are right now. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And now I'd like to introduce Senator Joe Brannigan, also a Navy veteran uh, and a veteran of both the House and the Senate. I think some people from the Army and other forces would uh, agree with what we're doing, but the Navy is strong here. <laughs> you know, he, they mentioned here he's a captain. A lot of people think captain in the Army, which isn't very high, but boy, the captain in the Navy, he's the big wheel, he's up there on the bridge <laughs> steering the ship. And uh, my ship was so small, we didn't even have a captain. We called him that. <laughs> no matter what you think of this war, and I agree with Peter keeping uh, in Afghanistan. We should have stayed there. We should have finished it. We had a reason. Going into Iraq was wrong. But no matter what you think, the cost of this war and the cost of the pressure it's putting on states, it's really hitting the safety net of what we do to help children, people that are uninsured, people who want to go to college. Uh, it hits the most vulnerable, mostly. And if we continue to spend this huge amount of money every day for this war that is, I don't know. If we continue to do this, we are impoverishing uh, people and we're breaking the safety net. I say we need to stop and get our priorities straight. Thank you. My thanks to you for coming. My thanks to the legislators behind me and to the signatory of this letter. Uh, and have a good day. Thank you.